Hello learning champions in this series we will be covering in word document how to create a emergency contact list this okay. is my word document and uh, this entire series will start from a beginner okay because considering that our entire population who is watching this video you know don't have a sound about ms word okay so please bear with me and i'm you know kicking off this series cool so let's click on this start button and then you could see this word document over here you just need to click on this word and then you just need to click on this blank document and as soon as you hit a blank document here is a blank screen document available for you and then what you need to do simply just need to click on this insert section and then there is a table range right you can just click over here table and you will import the different different tables okay before we begin with this import table let me just quickly give you the navigation how it looks like about this word document okay this is the status bar for you and this is the document uh, where we are working with so suppose we are typing any kind of a content so this is the blank document for us yeah and now um, this is the menu section for us okay basis this menu section we will uh, do a, any kind of an editing over here suppose i want to change the font of it i can change the font i can change the font size as well okay color so and so forth cool so this is what i'm just idea about the word document having said that let's uh, jump onto the topic and our topic is called how to create a emergency contact list right it's a very simple box okay uh, in word document whenever you are creating a resume cover letter or maybe in a postcard okay in word itself or maybe certificate for that matter right tables are very useful okay we'll cover that part as well but uh, that part will cover into the next section okay in this series we'll only focus on emergency contact now i'll click on this insert i'll hit this table okay i'll click on this uh i'll just insert a how many rows i need it okay so what i'll do i'll just import overall this 10 out of 5 and then this is my i'll just select this first um because this is my just a header nothing much i'll just merge this and then what i'll do i'll just a do a simple what type of emergency contacts i would require over here right so i'll just add those over here so let me just add a emergency services first we'll draft a content over here folks okay so don't worry about that and then i'll just click select this and then i'll merge this cell because i don't i want this what i'll do i'll just select this entire once again i'll merge second cell as well so this is how it looks like for now okay and then i'll just select this drag it like this cool and then second this would be my local services for me again this is just a random data set for me okay you can add your own folks okay that's completely fine merge it and then i'll do a i'll remove this because i don't want this right click and then delete this column cool just go into the view section okay and then here you could see select this and then just expand okay before we expand i'm just not trying to create more space over here so i think it is this option is not in view so let me just click on this layout and then if this page is normal the or maybe this particular size i'll change it okay and from normal to narrow okay so now i got a nice space over here so i'll just drag it like this cool and what what uh, we just need to you know insert this bottom i'll just select this again sales entirely and then i'll click on this table design okay here you could see this different different design but we don't want that okay 
now I want to insert it a below so I'll just select this layout and then insert below cool this is how I'm inserting in below now this is my header for me okay similar way uh, I want a name over here okay and then emergency services usually will keep as a suppose police slash ambulance okay or maybe fire department cool and then I have uh, if in case uh, any other department uh, which you want to mention you can definitely add that and then similarly you can just you know, add the numbers over here um, simply you know, I'm just you know, randomly putting any kind of a number over here okay it's, it's not be a, the correct one okay um, you can just add as per your region wherever you are based in and you're watching this video you can just you know, add the location specific uh, emergency number in the list okay uh, I'll just do a select this again merge cell select this again merge cell selected merge cell cool so I'll just uh, keep it like this and then local services local services would be suppose I want a gas connection detail over here electricity cool and then suppose I want a water I'll just do water services so this is what uh, I've added so far and similar fashion select this merge again merge select it and merge cool so this is the way I have plotted the data again I need to select this and merge it cool why we are doing this I'll, I'll show you that uh, at the end okay but prior you know we are just fixing the what we needed okay so basis that you know we are just plotting the data for now I'll show you that in design part so please bear with me in the meantime you know if in case you haven't subscribed our channel so urge you to please subscribe us okay so we can create a more videos like this for you guys cool so I'll just keep a space like this and then again I'll just select this entire three cells merge it again simply select merge here I will type as a other emergency contacts which you don't know probably right um, so you can just add those I'll just say a name over here phone and then email if in case any you want to write directly yeah you can just do that merge cell merge you can now carefully observe over here right whenever I'm doing uh, selecting three uh, cells while I'm doing a merge that is for header okay when I'm adding this this details right this time that time I'm just keeping this in one cell and um, when I'm doing a entire table that time I'm selecting entire table and merging it okay so there is a difference so you need to understand and play with the table accordingly okay now I'll add a again the same thing here as well cool but prior that what I'll do I'll just merge this to do a simple task for me copy once again control C click over here control V and then just copy once again control C from your keyboard and control V cool copy and paste it it's done now we'll see what else what else we can cover over here okay you can add uh, your doctor's details as well okay folks that's that's not a uh, um, big deal over here because any which way is this visual appealing uh, emergency contact list once you prepare right you can directly take a print out of it and you can stick onto the desk wherever you required cool so I'll again select right click merge cell and then merge cell simply physician name
landlord number if in case he needed or maybe not landlord to maybe neighborhood cool those kind of you know uh, numbers you can keep it as an emergency wherever you need it you just copy this I just paste it over here again I'll just select this merge and merge this particular cells merge cell selecting this likewise what I'll do I'll do a for this as well copy this paste it over here select merge cell merge cell you can add multiple entries as well basis your requirement folks okay so let me just see how it looks like for me it's a total six entries I mean let me you know add the other details as well which is out of state contact cool and then I'll say over here um, local contacts are done no it's a local contacts local contact so this is my local contact and then this is it again I'll just select this merge cell simply select this merge cell copy from the top paste it over here simply just paste it over here what I'll do I'll just remove this because I don't need this and now the editing part start from here cool what you need to do simply first select this okay table design what type of design you want okay you just need to select that okay uh, cool I'll just keep it a this one for now okay we can change that on the later on part as well okay but for now I just keep it like this again I'll just select this all border select it like this all border and then here after adding this design okay what you need to do you just need to fill these details as well for that so click on this text box and then you will say sample text box like this cool and uh, I will say MR Gen C contact list cool so when you say emergency contact list the content will be like this and you can you know, just click on this rotation arrow and rotate it like this you could see the text has been changed right just zoom it and then scroll down the bottom double click at the outside just can do a control a okay the content is already selected just do a control a and then increase the size it's 20 and then do a bold just click on the outside cool this is how it looks like for us for this you need to ensure that you are selecting a color code for this but uh, we can directly you know select this color code as well just click on this shape format and then click at the background right so this is how your color code will be look like and then click on this no outline again I'll just select this and change a color with white again click on the outside so this is how it's beautifully looks like our header and I'll do a center alignment for me so this is the way we can see it now you might have a question that sir you know this is uh, not yet been arranged how we can do that it's don't worry I'm here to support you guys okay I'll just select this once again click on this layout um, click on this first auto fit option auto fit content cool so this is how it looks like 
and as soon as you do a out of it your content will be shrink okay again double click over here table design click on this all border once you have the all border just ensure that you are selecting this option and dragging your table like this cool and then just select this increase a font size 20 I'll keep it a 20 over here for this again I'll select this 1 2 3 20 again here if you want you can change the font size but uh, for now um, what we have did we have changed the entire font size until a 20 so I'll keep it a constant for others too okay so I select this as a 20 you can do it from here as well or otherwise from here as well you just need to select the content and you will get the information do a control B control B and then simply control B these are the headers right so that's what you need to do a control B this will bold your content cool now just arrange this slightly because you can type your numbers accordingly I'll do a any which of this is not really required us but uh, this is just in a spacing specific so I'll just select this entire range and then merge cell like this so this is how it looks like for me I'll just arrange this once again okay but prior that arranging this I need to merge this as well I'll just select this merge cell cool simply I'll just select this again and merge cell so this is what we have arranged so far and now you need to just adjust this again let me just select this and do a merge cell for me and uh, this merge cell because we missed to do in earlier stage so we need to do that now it's simple okay it's not rocket science how uh, how we are creating this visual appealing emergency list yeah it's very simple just arrange this arrange the way you have the content okay it is not that basis the pages you already adjusted the page size so that's completely fine just adjust it like this so this is what I have did and I don't have a space to write there so I'll just select this cool so this is how it looks like for me and uh, now what I'll do I'll just select this again and uh, click on this table design shading option this light and then here I think there's no requirement for the color adding addition right so I'll just select this and click here no border cool so this is how beautifully uh, presented we have our own emergency contact list okay so you can you know add uh, basis your requirement you can add that numbers into the same word document or maybe you can just take a printout of it and you can write it and paste it on the desk you can also email this if needed in the PDF format what you need to do for that simply click on this save as button and then browser option click on PDF save it emergency services save cool as soon as you hit a save button so this automatically will create a PDF for you and when you click on this to open that PDF double click okay so uh, this is how you can create your own emergency contact list in MS Word very simple steps okay 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग वंस अगेन प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइबर्स